All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are going to do one of the most important videos of the fucking year. We are going to look at the top 15, top 20 highest rated NFL prospects. Now, we're going to look at all of them, but I have one message and one message for this goddamn video. Chicago. Bears, I'm talking to you. Don't fuck this up. Listen, I like Fields too, but you gotta let him go. They're calling Caleb the best since Mahomes. Don't fuck this up, Chicago. Trade Fields, get Caleb Williams. Every single mock draft has the Bears taking Caleb first. He's too good to pass up. He's too good to pass up. This is generational talent. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Exactly why you have to pick him number one. You gotta pick him number one. You have to. You have to. You got to. Chicago. Get C. Williams number 13 at number one. It's time. It's time. It's time for Chicago to finally be exciting. It's time. It's time. It's time. I need some Kansas City magic in Chicago, nigga. What, what the fuck are y'all? It's time. Oh, my God. Don't get me excited. Chicago, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. I don't, even like getting, I don't even like getting excited with Chicago because it just makes me think they're going to fuck it up. Don't fuck this up. Look at that fucking spiral dot. Oh, wow. What is he fucking doing? He's trying to curls and he's the wide receiver. What is he doing? We got to have him. I've never been a Chicago Bears fan in my life, but you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it. Pick him up and you'll see it. Pick him up and you'll see it. Pick him up and you'll see it. First day they drop the jerseys, I'm grabbing it. I'm pre-ordering that bitch. Pick them up, you'll see it. Pre-ordering that hoe. Williams, oh my God, that's why we need him. That's why we gotta have him. That's why we gotta have him. We gotta have him. I go like, we gotta have him. We gotta have him. Williams was looking there, closed off, comes back. Well, that head is on a swivel. Oh my God. Listen, we could be here all day. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> all right, this Jaden Daniels guy ain't seen that much of him. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. He's going to throw again here. Mm. Steps up. He's a deep mm. in the field. He's got Chris Hilton. And mm. he's got what happened to Bo Nix? That dude on. Uh, does to the end zone for Lacey. Got it. Touchdown. What is this? Yeah, Washington? I thought he was like one of the best quarterbacks. Didn't they just go undefeated or something? Why, why, is, why is he not. Oh, Neighbors is on our list, too. Neighbors is on this list, too. So I remember that name when I was pulling up the videos. Neighbors is on this list. Yeah, I mean, I really don't think the Bears could go wrong with either one of these guys, but I mean, I think that, that Caleb is the 100% definitive number one. And we could have got Bryce Young last year. But we decided to pass on that, which I think was the right decision. So yeah, we gotta get Caleb. He's gonna take a shot. We gotta get Caleb. He's got it. That's an LSU touchdown. This nigga throwing dots though. This might be a free play. Jaden Daniels. He's gonna take a shot. Why not? It was a neutral zone infraction. The catch made. I feel like he's getting a lot of wide receiver help. He wants a shot for Brian Thomas. The no. I don't know. Quarterback draw. The C is part. And knows Daniels again. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. All right, Drake May, let's see it. These are the top three quarterbacks, guys. Drake May might be better than uh, uh, Jaden Daniels. 56 yards, second score. But the but the uh 
the running the running quarterbacks are the new are the new meta. But I don't know. I might go Drake. I might go Drake over. Here's May looking left. Pops in trouble. Steps. Throws. Caught. JJ Jones. First and goal. Carolina. What the fuck did I do? Damn shit, man. What the fuck? So one of the things he's such a Tough. special <laughs> is because of plays like that. Just the amazing physical ability. Second down and four. Gonna kick. Got it. He threw it to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown by Pesor and he threw it left handed. Uh, uh, what in the world? Uh, because Carolina sucks. Uh, it's time to make the change. Snap to May. He's going to take a shot. Walker is his target and makes the catch. Taz Walker. But Jaden Daniels is a senior though. Hmm. He got a little bit more college experience. But if he's a senior and he ain't get drafted, I mean, that's got to say something. Like, you shouldn't be able to make it to a senior and not be in that. You know what I mean? This is probably should be the number one pick. But quarterbacks are so overpowered in the game of football that he won't go number one. But realistically, no one in the draft has more talent than this guy. So the safety, Marcus Hooker, a former Buckeye. Let's get right into it. This little nigga is wicked. This little nigga is wicked. I damn near pick him number one. You can't. But damn. He's wicked. He's wicked. If he gets on a team with a good quarterback, if he somehow was on Mahomes team, he'd be the best beat. He would end his career the best wide receiver of all time. <laughs> no cap. You got two guys on him. Anthony Johnson, the corner. He burst. Look at it. He is bursting these niggas. Every time they touch the ball. McCord off first down. Looking. Goes deep. McCord wide open receiver. Ohio State didn't even have a good quarterback, and he was out there getting two touchdowns a game. McCord, pump fake, looks, sideline, caught. Oh my God. Oh my. Second and 33. He'll force this one down the field. Over the shoulder. And it's caught. He's wicked. Brock Bowers, tight end, highest rated tight end. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Play fake wide open. Brock coverage. McCarthy in motion. Blitz coming off the edge. Flags are down. Might be a free play. He looks nice. He looks nice. But a tight end going five? That don't make sense to me. There's no way tight end goes top five. Some kind of tight end top five? Ball to the end zone. Bowers. Touchdown. Here he is again. Going through some traffic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tight end top five? Over the middle again. This time in some traffic to power. Touchdown drive. For the come from behind win. Faked it to Edwards. Man wide open. It's Bowers. Take it down. Right now on the corner. And there he is. Catch made. And he is down to the back. Plenty of time. Down the middle. Guess who? Got Bowers. Bowers heading to the end. I mean, he looks nasty. Transfer from Albany. Not highly recruited out of Dayton, Ohio. But everybody knows about him now. Number one rated defensive end. I would probably pick this guy over the tight end. Tight ends are rarely game breakers. I feel like Mahomes makes Kelsey a game breaker because he's so good, but like tight ends are rarely game breakers. Oh, we. 
They moved that nigga up in the, in the rank as soon as he bulldozed through that nigga. That nigga went up three spots. <laughs> oh, wee. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I would get. I would take this nigga over Brock Bowers. That's just me. This little nigga looks disgusting. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, so these are the top two highest ranked offensive linemen. Every single list has Joe Alt ranked as the number one offensive lineman in the draft. Every single list has him number one. Something about offensive lineman named Joe, them niggas be elite. <laughs> Joe is such an offensive lineman name. <laughs> Ooh, it <laughs> is. That's why I didn't like watching offensive line. Like what? Yeah, that, I mean that was cool. I guess I don't know how to. I don't know how to grade this. Oh wait, just show me the pancakes. I just want to see pancakes. But just show me him knocking niggas over. Oh yeah, he made that whole lane. I see it. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, he looks elite. He looks elite. I mean, you can never go wrong on the lineman, man. I damn near get him before Brock Bowers. And not that Brock Bowers didn't look nasty. He looked nasty. It's just, man, it's tough. It's, it's tight end. It's tough, man. I wouldn't be surprised if Joe all goes before him. Across the 40 in the first down. Love has had a productive day as he gained 16 on the Yeah, he's nice. Arnold has been Tyrion Arnold, best corner in college football. Let's check him out. Yeah, he looked locked down. You know Alabama always got the lockdown niggas. You know Alabama always gonna make sure they get the lockdown niggas. Oh wee. Oh wee. Oh wee. Yeah, he looked nice. He looked solid. I see the vision. I would damn near get him over the tight end too. Quarterbacks are the important bizarre, uh, important position in, uh, in football. I just, I don't know. Tight ends are high beastie, but I don't know. This guy looks disgusting. A lockdown corner can change the whole team. Look how it's changed the Jets. A lockdown, boy. That's lock. <laughs> Alright, this is the second highest ranked defensive end. Latu, he goes... He goes to UCLA, or went to UCLA. <laughs> we in the draft now, nigga. <laughs> Call. Oh, we. We're well, right around that little boy. Lot two. There was the speed. I mean, that's the line. No, that the shots and clears are in a pass must mode right now. You see Lot two right. He's confident. He's gonna be a big time football player. Five yard run on first down for Cole. So the oh, we. goes down. UCLA's pressure, there's Lot to his first second. A lot of NFL scouts have him as a first round pick coming up in the 2024. He's nice. I think Curse is nicer though. A little bit stronger. Some of them Curse plays that they showed, those were they were dominant. But he looks nice though. He looks fast as hell. He looks very fast. He looks very fast. He's gonna work over the guard here. Not just off the edge. And they really found a matchup that they like. That's all Caleb. That's not an easy sack. This is one of those ones in the playbook that says, hey. Yeah, he's quick. So he's quick. The other guy's got a little bit more hybrid. This is like mainly speed rusher. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Georgia's got to get all the way to the nine yard line to pick up a first down. Back. Here comes the heat. Oh, we. Alabama got them hitters. And it's Dallas Turner. Two guys Alabama got them hitters. The Dallas Turner looked like one of them hitters. 
Second down, Dart looks right. But wait, he damn near looked better than, 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 than Tahu. Turner high in the air to take him down. The ball I damn near get him instead. Was already down at that I damn near get him first. It's not, not, Curse is better, but I get him above Latu. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. It's, 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 it's up for grabs. Those speedy rushes be, be monsters sometimes. But if he's one of the best players on Alabama, I feel like that's saying something. You know what I'm saying? The throw, and obviously the DB can undercut it. Malik Neighbors. Slings it, caught by Neighbors. He's going to cut it back. Had a block. He's our second wide receiver on the list. From a tackler down to the 26 yard line. Daniels, I'm He looks solid. I'm fucking with Neighbors. And Neighbors. I'm fucking with Neighbors. He looks nasty. The throw. This is a throw they haven't hit a bunch of early this season, but they hit that exact same play in this game last year on a fourth and three situation. Taylor on the tight end in motion. Daniels loads. Going deep. Man out there. His neighbor is. He's got it. Touchdown, LSU. I feel like he made the quarterback look a lot better. But he can't wear numbers. You know how sometimes the quarterback make the wide receiver look better? I feel like he made the quarterback look better. And Fuck. <laughs> Of Malik Neighbors. You're selling curl. You're oh trying my to get Robinson God. to throttle down. And he just relaxed Shit. when Robinson turned around. Blitz. One on one for Neighbors. Oh, give me those. That's nasty. Yeah, he looks nasty. He looks elite. In trouble. Gets away. On the run. And this is our number five quarterback, top five, number five quarterback in the list. Five quarterbacks projected to go in the top 15. But then he sees his quarterback move. Now they're late getting there. Let's see if McCarthy can find him. Lops it, sideline, and Rhodes will step. He's got it. Out of bounds at the one. Got to be in consideration, right? If Michigan won it all, I mean, you got to throw him in there. McCarthy. Got to. He's out of the pocket. And launches. And so. That was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. The first five games this year, but he's been the biggest cheerleader for everybody else throughout the process. McCarthy dialing up a deep ball down the field. Oh, it's caught. Cornelius Johnson, sensational effort. Carter transfers from Indiana on third down. McCarthy looks right, fires for Wilson for the hat trick. He got it. Yeah, he looks nice. I didn't watch much Michigan, but he looks nice. Romeo Odunze. He's high on a lot of lists, man. This wide receiver. So he was making Penix look better than he actually was. I see. Because <laughs> I'm like, where's Michael Penix at on his list? Oh, it was Odunze making him look good. Gotcha. <laughs> to work with for the Huskies. Dunze will try to race out of bounds. Texas brings an extra man. Penix completes it. Odunze takes it. Another four-man rush. Well protected again. He's going to take another shot. Time reaching back. Here's Odunze. Inside the 10. Here comes the pressure. Penix delivers. And it's caught. Odunze grabs it for the touchdown. These highlights are not that impressive. Open motion. Back to the air from a clean but I mean, he looks nice. On but I'm not really seeing any tiptoes or anything like I'm not seeing anything super crazy. Out of the end zone, Penix. Back in the backfield. It's third down and eight. All right, and number 15 is Byron Murphy. And there you see why. Ethan Burke went low. Byron Murphy went high for the sack. Watch this. 15 yards here, they go empty. Ladies and gentlemen, Byron Murphy. He looks nice. This is the highest rated defensive tackle on the list. 
and get in that gap. Give nowhere to run for Dominique Brickson. Well Empty backfield. Howard looking. Howard scrambles. Howard lets it go. Incomplete. And Texas survives. One of the main reasons I like watching that, watching these videos and doing these videos is because it gives it, it helps me familiarize myself with these people so I know who to watch out for. Like, I didn't know who Byron Murphy was before this, but now moving into the next season, I'm familiar with the name and I'm going to be on the lookout for him. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. A lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of recording uh, to make these type of videos. But I feel like it really helped me get a better idea of the draft and getting bears. Like I said, just don't fucking choke this. You guys leave all your comments below. Everybody comment who you want your team to grab this year in the draft. Who your team needs to, and if you don't know a player specifically, let me know what position you think your team needs to grab. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you all enjoyed. I appreciate y'all. I can't do nothing without y'all. And we're going to keep the videos going. We're going to keep the videos flowing. Uh, uh, I'm out of here, man. Peace. <laughs> I wanted a more dramatic burden than that. That wasn't that dramatic. <laughs>